we have to rebound. You know, it's been a Achilles heel of ours and we got to be better there. And I think Cody provides us, you know, more rebounding. He does a very good job defensively, keeping us out of rotation, scrambling, getting, getting us matched up. So you got to give Cody some of this credit, but this is a collective effort for us defensively, especially on the board. Thank you. Thank you. Rick? Hey, JB, I, I know it's a moot point with Devontae out tonight, but the, the metrics would suggest that you guys have played pretty well in a three-guard lineup. How much or little can you, you think you could play that going forward relative to the matchup issues? You're, you're putting Devontae in there? Is that what you mean, that, that three-guard lineup? Well, I, I just meant that it, I know that it's not necessarily all that relevant to tonight. I know that you could do it with Monk, too. But what I mean is, just like in general, yeah. you're, I just wonder what your level of comfort is. Yeah, with playing you know, I, I didn't know going into the season, Rick, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect out of that lineup. I knew I wanted to play it. I didn't know what to expect. But I'm more and more comfortable with it. I think we're figuring out how to guard with that group. Um, but I like what I see offensively. And I think that's the strength of it is really our offensive uh, power there as far as ball movement, you know, the catch and shoots, the ability to play make. Uh, it allows me to do other things at the four as well with that lineup. So um, I'm much more comfortable right now, Rick, than, than before. How long do I stay here? I don't know yet. I don't have an answer there. But I'm comfortable, and you know, if we have to adjust defensively to to compensate, we'll do that. But right now, we're holding our own defensively, and and the numbers say offensively we're really strong. So uh, I'll keep rolling with this as, as long as I can. With the level of intrigue offensively that that offers, what sort of things can you do in terms of creativity to live with it at the other end? Yeah, I mean. You know, the one thing is Terry can guard his position at, at a high level. You know, that, that helps us. Devontae's a very smart player. He, he understands his role on the defensive end. Uh, he may not be the biggest guy or most athletic guy, but, but Devontae knows his spots. He knows his rotations. I think where we can make up a lot of ground is Melo's development defensively. And, you know, he does give us length and size at that position. That's the one thing with LaMelo out there, even though he's growing defensively, he does give us defensive rebounding. He gives us size. He allows us to switch. Um, and then, you know, we're just going to have to protect the paint, let those three fly around, and, and you know, make sure that we protect the, the three-point line with those, those three smalls flying around. But more than anything, Rick, if we're scoring at a high level, we're setting our defense. And I think I'm going to trust that if we can get good shots, not turn it over, score more than not with that lineup, it allows us to set our defense. And I'll trust that if we're, if we're much more efficient offensively, I think it's only going to help our defense get set, even if we're a little smaller there. Um, Thank you. Okay. The last thing on that is it allows me to rest Gordon some, you know, at, at times when I don't feel like when Gordon goes out of the game, I'm losing as much offensively when he goes out playing those three guards together. So that's a, that's a plus for us as well. Is that the hardest thing about Gordon, about when you take out Gordon is not having the bottom line offensively? Yeah, I think he, you know, he has the ability to get his shots on his own and in the half court. You know, Gordon does it in the full court and transition as well. You, you know he's a, he's a very good transition player as well. But in the half court at times we get stagnant and uh, Gordon's, you know, been able to, to help in that area. But with these three on the floor, I feel like we stay aggressive um, offensively, whether we're in the half court or in the full court. And a lot of it, Rick, with those three guards, they're playing more transition, more flow, make or miss. They're playing more open floor than half court. Thank you. Yep. Let's go to Jacob and then Rod. Hey, Coach. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jacob with USA Today. Um, over the, the weekend, especially that Jazz game, LaMelo, I thought, did a lot of damage with that little floater that he has. Um, especially against Utah's drop coverage. I, I know it's not something new to his game, but what do you just think of that that shot that he has, his kind of ability to use it? And have you guys talked to him at all about it or anything like that? I have. Um, I saw it at his first workout that I ever saw him uh, in, in, in L.A. I didn't, you know, he shot it with ease. It looked like he could, you know, make it pretty comfortably. So, uh, watching this film, he's been shooting that that little 
floater for a while. Um, you know, if you've been watching our games early on, it was not dropping for him. You know, mm -hmm. he and I had a conversation and he believes in it, you know, and I stuck with it and he continues to, you know, improve on it and he started to make it now. So that in-between shot is important, you know, especially in our league today when, when there's big guys at the rim, they force you to the rim. That's a tough finish no matter how big you are. Um, so it's an important shot for him as he develops and he, he looks more and more comfortable with it, you know, every single game. Thank you. Yep. Sir Rob. Hey, uh, JB, you guys have played about a third of your schedule, believe it or not, I guess, so far. Does it, does it seem like that, A? And, and how would you assess what you've done so far through these, you know, 20-something odd games? And then what do you want to prove, I guess, upon most going forward? It feels like, it feels like I, we played at least half our games, you know, to be honest with you. It feels like we've been in this for a while. And I don't know why it just feels that way. I mean, it's just the grind of the season. And playing game after game and you know there, there's a lot that's packed into this season you know I don't want to get into that but um, I thought our, I, I'm proud of our guys I like where they're at uh, I think we got a long way to go but I think we've we've progressed from day one that we got together we have an identity now we have a clear identity our guys compete every single night I think you know when you stack us up against the league I'll put us against anybody every single night in how hard we play we compete every single night and we, we compete for the most part from start to finish. The results don't always fall our way, but I, I respect our guys because they come out, they compete every night. They play together. They're unselfish. They like each other. Uh, I feel like we're in a good place. We have good, solid ground to grow on and build on. We're not where we need to be, but there's a foundation that is clearly in place that I feel comfortable with. And uh, I like this group. Thank you. Let's go to Danny and wrap up with Richard. Coach Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. You was mentioning the growth about the defense. Uh, from this point now to going all the way back when you first met LaMelo, how much has he grown defensively in your eyes so far? He's got a ways to go, but he is making ground up every single game. I see growth. Um, and a lot of it's the off-the-ball stuff. You know, he's locked in on the ball. He's got length. He, he competes. He gets through screens. There's a pride about him defensively on the ball. He understands that. Um, he takes that challenge on. His growth is going to come off the ball, and that's that's the number one thing right now is just his rotations when he's off the ball. Uh, it's pick and roll coverage. It's weak side coverage. It's V-backs. It's, it's contesting. Uh, all the little things that, that really add up to being a very good defense that we need, um, those are areas of, of growth for him. But I'm seeing it every single, you know, every game there, there's another step forward, and you know, there's times when he, he, he goes back to some old habits. But to me, more than anything, he's aware of it. Uh, there's a pride about that. And, you know, he's growing in those areas. And a quick follow-up. Yeah, go ahead. Quick follow-up. With John Wall and uh, Eric Gordon both being out tonight, uh, it seems like Houston might not have a primary ball handler. Does that make you want to use Terry to pressure the ball more and have the Mello and the rest of the guys take more of an attack mode? without Wall and Gordon? You're saying defensively? Correct. Yeah, I think we need to be, you know, overall we got to be aggressive tonight no matter what, whether those guys are in or not. This is a very good team. I mean, they're a very aggressive team, especially on the defensive end. They're going to, you know, they're not walking in here feeling sorry for themselves. You're going to see a very aggressive Houston team. So for us to match it, to answer your question, we got to be as, ag as aggressive, if not more. And it does start on the ball. And Terry sets the tone for us. So... Uh, we need Terry to get us off to a good start with his ball pressure. Everybody else lock in and do what we do defensively. And more than anything tonight, it starts on the defensive end. Start up with Richard. Uh, Coach Brega, Richard Walker, uh, at CarolinaSportsHub.com. You've talked about how PJ coming back helps you with your center rotation. You've talked about using the three guys at once. How has that worked out for you? Because obviously they have three different diverse talents, but they give you a lot when they're playing. You're talking the the fives, yeah, the, all the fives, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, I feel comfortable with all three. You guys know that. I mean, I've seen you've seen that. I, I'm comfortable with all three, and we used all three the other night. Cody's given us a boost there, the starting lineup. I think he's been really good since he's been back. Um, he provides us a lot offensively. You know, his ability to make plays off the bounce. Uh, he made a three the other night. You got to respect him. Uh, he's a great screen setter. He plays with great pace. I think we all take that for granted. And 
Um, he can really add to our, our pace offensively. Defensively, he battles. I mean, he battles every single night, no matter who he's playing against. The big boys down there, there's a lot of guys in this league that are a little, you know, much bigger than him, and he continues to battle. He rebounds. Um, he's getting better in his communication. And Biz, obviously, you know, I trust him. You know, on the defensive end, he gives us great presence there. Um, so I feel very comfortable with, with, with Biz on the floor as well. And then PJ gives us the versatility. You know, when I need to go a little bit smaller and open it up offensively, he allows us to do that. He can guard his position. And he gives us, you know, more stretch, more stretch five ability and versatility at the five. So uh, I don't know if I answered your question, but I like all three. I mean, all three guys I feel very comfortable with.